today I'm doing more of a fall inspired makeup look and this is with a neutral eye and a dark bold lip. Um, this was actually a request from one of my good friends, Kate. I mean, just look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I just love her to death. So obviously, you don't have to use the exact same eyeshadow palette or brushes or lip products that I'm using, but within the video, I do show you what I am using and kind of give you suggestions, so hopefully that helps a little bit. And another thing is, you don't even have to use the same colors I'm using. So if you want to do a dark purple lip or just a red lip or a black lip, like you do you, girl. You do you. Without further ado, I think I have talked enough. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so for the sake of time, off camera, I did my foundation. I didn't set it with powder or do concealer or any of that. I just did foundation. And I also did my eyebrows as well as prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. Okay, so for this look, I'm using one palette and it is the Pure Exposed Palette from Crown. Um, this packaging is seriously exactly like the Naked 2 and 3 palette packaging from Urban Decay. It's like that tin packaging and you open it up and it pretty much looks exactly the same. Um, you have a mix of matte shades and shimmer shades and it also comes with a brush. Now I will say that I love this brush. This brush I actually like better than the Urban Decay ones that come with the Naked palette. So um, I just think that the blending side of the brush is a lot more fluffy and does a much better job than the Urban Decay one. So um, this is the palette that I will be using today. Okay, so I recently got a new brush and I am pretty much in love with it. I really am. And it is from Real Techniques. You can get it at Ulta. And it is from the Bold Metals Collection. And this is the silver one. And it is brush number 200. And it is just like a fluffy oval brush that is amazing for like setting down like base colors or blending out a color in the crease. It's just all around amazing and I am obsessed with it. So I'm going to be using this brush a lot in this tutorial. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to take is going to be color number 13, and it is just a matte off-white color. So I'm just going to take that color on my Real Techniques 200 brush, and I'm going to put that all over the lid from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. So I'm just going to take this matte color and, like I said, put it all the way from my lash line up to my brow bone. And this really, you're not even going to be able to see it very much, which is fine. You just want to um, have some sort of like powdery base, if that makes sense. That way all the other colors blend in much more easily. Sometimes when you put an eye primer on, your eyelids feel like really sticky. And then when you go to blend like darker colors, it just gets really patchy and the colors don't move and don't blend because it's on a sticky base. So um, I like to go over my eyelids and under my eyes with a kind of like skin tone color eyeshadow to help blend the darker colors. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take color number 17 and that is a matte color once again, meaning no shimmers. And it's kind of like a, a brown, a light brown, like gray color. It almost has like a gray tint to it. It is so beautiful. And once again, I'm taking it with my Real Techniques 200 brush and I am going to put that in the crease of my eyes. So these eyeshadows are honestly like super blendable and very pigmented, so I am in love. This is actually like a newer palette for me. I just recently got it, so I was always wondering um, how crown eyeshadow palettes worked out, and you know what? I think I'm in love. Okay, so I'm just taking that um, color number 17 and I'm running it through the crease, and my sun is going down. I mean, really, it's unreal. It is 11 o'clock in the afternoon, why? Why? I'm just running that color through the crease kind of sloppily, it doesn't have to be super perfect because we're going to fix it later, but you do want to make sure that it is very blended and very smooth looking. And honestly, I have used some brushes in the past where you could blend all day and it was just terrible. So really getting a good brush, it doesn't have to be super, super expensive, but just really getting a good set of eye brushes, it will like do the work for you. So, um, like I said, I'm just taking that color and running it through the crease. At first I thought this brush was going to be like way too big to blend out crease colors, but I actually prefer it over my smaller brushes because it covers more ground so you get your work done much more quickly. Okay, so I'm taking that fluffy Real Techniques brush and I'm going back in with this color here, number 13, which is just that matte skin tone color. And I am going to be placing that right under the brow bone and blending it down into that crease color. I like to do this step because it helps blend 
that crease color so there's not like a super harsh line from where you put the, the crease color. So I just kind of blend that so it's a little bit more seamless. And I also like to take it around over here, around the edges. Just anywhere where you can see an edge where that crease color ends and your skin begins, we need to like get rid of that. We just like, I like to like diffuse that almost so it just looks like a gradient effect. So I kind of just go over it. Okay, so now you can see that I do have just a very light crease color in my um, creases and it just gives my eyes a little bit more depth and dimension, which I love. Okay, so I kind of like to play up the more almond shape to my eyes, so I like to go in with an even darker color, and it doesn't matter if it's matte or shimmer. I'm going to go in with shade number 18 right here, and it's kind of like a brown, gold, coppery color, and I'm going to take that on the crown brush that came with it. I'm going to take this um, flat shader brush side, and I'm just going to get a little bit of that, and I'm going to place that on the very outer corner. And I kind of do it in like a V formation almost. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go blend that out later. Okay, so once I have that color placed over here in the crease, I'm gonna take the fluffy side of that crown brush's brush and kind of blend it out. Okay, so honestly, that's about it for the eyeshadow. I am just gonna run um, that same 18 color, which is that coppery, like golden bronze color. I'm gonna run that under my lower lash line. And I am using the crown brush's brush. No look of mine is complete without brightening up the inner corner. So I am going to take number 15, which is like a slightly shimmery white pinky color and I'm going to put that in the inner corners. Okay, so whenever I do makeup, I always line my upper waterline, which is the tight line, and I always line that with a black liner. It just makes your eyelashes look ridiculously more thick and beautiful. Okay, so the liquid eyeliner that I use is from Lorac or Lorac, however you pronounce it, and it's in this metallic packaging, and it is just a liquid eyeliner. It's not a felt tip liner, it's like individual little bristles, but I like that way better. Um, I used to be obsessed with felt tip until I found this, and it is my baby, I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to line my eyes, and I'm going to wing it out, and I will be right back. Okay, so I did my eyeliner and I did wing it out and now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. Okay, so now the eyes are finished and I'm going to finish the face and then we'll move on to the lips. So for the rest of my face, I am going to use a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer under my eyes. And I'm just using my finger. I don't need any brush or anything for this. So now that I put my concealer on, I can go ahead and set my entire face. So I'm just using a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and a large, what is it, a large powder brush from Sigma. Quickly moving on to bronzer, I am using a brush from Vasanti. It's the Blush 7 brush. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. And I'm using the NYC Sunny Bronzer, very affordable, and I love it. And I'm just going to lightly bronze up my face. I'm not doing any like crazy contouring or anything. I just want to not look so pasty, pretty much. I go ham on some bronzer. And I also bring it down my neck that way. I'm not a bronze goddess from... <laughs> chin up and then a pasty beast from chin down 
if you know what I mean. So for my cheeks, I'm doing more of kind of like a burnt orangey color as well, and this is Gingerly from MAC, and I love this blush so much. So I'm just taking that with the Visanti brush as well, and I'm just very lightly, I'm very lightly going to put a little of that on. Okay, so now let's move on to the lips. I am using my favorite lip products of all time. ColourPop Cosmetics liquid lipsticks are absolute life. Absolute life, like it's almost unreal. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.